So here we go, end of day five. Got the engine out of the sedan. I got all the brake lines out of the sedan. You can see I fucking just ripped them out. I didn't, don't even care. Uh, using the tur <coughs> turbo brake lines because the ABS is on the different side. Which, speaking of, I got the ABS wiring over to the correct side. Um, I started with my auxiliary light wiring, but then I decided against it because there's so many other things that I should get done before I get done that, seeing as there's no point of having auxiliary lights if the car is not running. Um, painted the engine block red. Um, pretty much most of the day was spent pulling this engine out, which is now sitting over there. Um, I compared the turbo harness to the body side of the naturally aspired harness and contrary to what I thought I read, they are completely different. Um, yeah, there's a correct number of male and female plugs on each side, but that's about where it ends. Um, some of them have different amounts of pins. Um, the ones with the same amount of pins like this one um, on the turbo one, it's four on the bottom, one in the top uh, middle left. So I'm not really sure how to go about this. I'm going to look this up when I go inside. I've been out here all today. I haven't even turned my computer on in the past two days. Um, I started ripping them out of the wagon, but it's a lot of effort to they're all taped up and wound together and it's a fucking bitch. There's wires that I don't need, taped to wires that I do need and I'm not exactly sure what I should be doing. So I'm gonna look up, see if anyone, I know people have done swaps before, even just like bolt-on turbos and ECU swaps. So somebody must know if it's better to um, repin or get the whole harness and re-harness the fucking car. Which is going to be a bitch because the way that they put the grommets in there, well, they're behind the strut braces, and I can barely fit my hand in there as it is, and they're fucking giant grommets like that big around. They're like three inch circle grommets, and I, there's so many wires running through them. They're impossible to pop out, and I'm not really sure what to do. Um, plus, if I pull them out of the wagon, I won't have to run the um, ma uh, mass air meter and all that other shit that needs to be on that side from this side. Um, so like I won't have to like cut this thing up and make it fit over there because it's only this long where on the turbo car it's the whole length that it needs to be. But you guys will find out tomorrow, so will I. Uh, I need to get some sleep because my dad is going to, well, my dad and my grandfather are going to help me put the turbo engine into the car tomorrow, and it's kind of a three-man thing, so we're just going to put it in and I'm going to work around the engine, which kind of sucks, but got to do what you got to do, so catch you guys tomorrow, uh, till then, peace.